Right guys, we have a frosty morning. You can see the frost in the ground there a little bit. With Reggie. Happy out. See you, sure. Oh. And it's definitely chilly this morning. Fair pair to steer. She went back to the back field. She didn't have to go far. She said they were ready to get out of the field this morning and warm up with a bit of exercise. So I'll bait up the road here and give us a little canter and see how it goes. Oops. Go on, Harry. Give us something there. Give us something. Go on. Good boy. Do some more. Come on. Good lad. Good. Go on. Good fella. Go on. Go on. Go on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Go on. Good lad. Go on. <laughs> oh, the ground's too hard for them, guys. The ground's too hard for them. He wants to wait for the softer ground. He's smart. This horse can tell you what's good and what's not good. There's a definitely a cold ice, like the puddles there, it's iced over. Iced over. So it is chilly. But uh, ah, it's all good. No, the ground is too hard for him, Tirsha, he's telling me. Yeah, I'll wait till we get to the green. No point in hurting them. <coughs> Horse is smarter than me, but you do have to listen to him. I beg your pardon, there's more ice there in the ground. So we're getting a bitter snap. And this is where we are, out in the country. Lovely place. It's just so easy, I mean, it's... look at guys, if you had this trail around your house, what would you be doing every day? It's awesome. Oh. Awesome. <clears throat> Everything has a little bit of frost on top. <clears throat> Gosh, the bog looks so different in the frost, doesn't it? You all right, Dirt? My feet are here on Broadway this blessed harvest morn. And all oh, the ache that's in them for the fields where I was born. Had I the chance to journey back this cold and bitter morn, I'd rather be where the hawthorn tree is on the old bog road. And we're on the old bog road now, guys, so hope you enjoyed that. The old Irish, when they went away, they had awful sad songs, awful sad songs. So you can see the frost even on the turf. It's just, it's, it's a magical, magical wonderland here today now, in fairness. <coughs> bitter, bitter cold. So, a number of layers on and I'm still feeling a little bit of the chill. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go If anyone wants to join in It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas More ice <coughs> Well, it's getting close, three weeks to Christmas. Well, wow. 21st is in three weeks time. Well, yeah. And there's four more, three more days, four more days for Santa after that. <coughs> ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas to everyone that I haven't said it to already. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season. And with any luck, my friends in Maryland and Virginia, Boston and family all over and Missouri, Kansas. Great people out in Kansas guys. It's good hunting in Kansas. Coyotes and fox. One side of the road the fox, the other side coyotes. And you have Leavenworth, 
and I was speaking about um, I think it's called Green Valley Green Valley Hunt um, and yeah I'll get that right you guys can always uh, correct me I apologize if I got that wrong Mission Valley Hunt is a Mission Valley Hunt Green Valley? Mission Valley Hunt is it? Mission Valley I've traveled to so many and the name sounds so, sound so familiar. And with my slight touch of dyslexia, I get everything asked backwards. So I do apologize. It's um, an absolute pleasure to be on this horse this morning. This frosty morning. And he's been careful. I see how he's choosing his steps nice. Been very careful. Good boy. Good boy, Harry. You're a clever horse. Very intelligent horse. So now here's Draft Cobb Cross. So he's uh, he's got a lot of bone and um, a lot of good brain. Cobbs of great brains and drafts of great brains. So double whammy. <sighs> double whammy. Look at that for countryside, guys. All right, that's me for the morning. I'll shut off now and um, wish you all a great Christmas. I'm sure I'll be in touch with you all before then. And um, Thanks for following. Any comments you want to make, guys, any questions you have. If you look for, if you need any advice, I don't mind helping. And uh, thanks again for supporting me. I appreciate that. Um, hopefully I'm doing right by the horses and you all like what I'm doing. <clears throat> I've got some good ones. But as a friend said to me, kindness. Kindness is the only cure for any pro horse's problem. And there's truth in it. <clears throat> Morning, Tommy. We missed you on the ride this morning. Tommy, who normally, well, who has joined in with us, has um, calves that are sick, I think. So he has to do his farming duties and can't be with us. We're the fortunate ones here today. And um, hopefully um, everything gets resolved, Tommy, and every calf and animal as well. We always want for that, like, I think uh, Saint Anthony is the saint for animals. So if you all wanted to give him a little prayer out there for Tommy, I think it's Saint, uh, is it Saint Anthony. It's not Saint Martin. It's just Saint Anthony's for lost causes. Who is it? Who's the patron saint of horses, of animals? Huh? Who's the patron saint of saint of animals? Francis, Saint Francis. Uh, Francis, Saint Francis. That's right. All right, have a great day. Morning, Kira. St. Francis, that's right, we just got it. <laughs> that brain, <laughs> brain freeze. Good morning, Kira. Um, so, guys, have a great day. Um, I'm going to shut off now. All right, I don't know if I will here. I'll leave it on. Just join in if you want. This is Ireland. Which way is your show? Uh, left. Left? How's our buddy doing? Don't say so so. It seems to be moving better. Yeah. That's Reggie. He's a good boy, aren't you, Reggie? Oh, he's ego. He deserves it, sir. He's a good one, for God's sake. You could praise him to the heavens and back, sure. You couldn't get better than Reggie. And honestly, like you know. He's, 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 he'd mind you, he'd step in front of a bullet for you. Oh, yeah. You would ya? That horse would step in front of a bullet for you. Okay. He's all about taking care of so you, sure. She's in spike though, spiked. He gets the bucket first, he gets the carrot first. Oh, and he knows it, and he gets the apple first, and he gets a fuss if he doesn't get it. And Harry has a fish if he doesn't get it, so... And Harry has a fish if he can't get at it, that's true. Well, this is the best thing for them now this morning. Oh, a bit of light exercise. We don't need to kill them.
That's right, Richie. That's right. That's right. Oh, that's a great picture there. Oh my God. The background. Jesus, that's beautiful. Look at him. What a lovely horse he is. You're a lovely horse, Richie. Just you go a long way to get something as sturdy as him, like, and as good as him. You know? Remember the first time, I remember when Paul started training him. Paul, so he'd never been ridden out in the open, guys, this horse. And uh, we had um, a load of people riding in the village. And Paul was a professional jockey. And I said, Paul, I need you. Come up here quick. So he had to drive his car to the location that we were setting off from. Parked up. And I said, do you have a helmet? No, I don't. I said, well, grab one there. Unfortunately, he had boots in the back of the car, which all jockeys normally have. And I, I grabbed the helmet out of the truck. And he took off. And I mean, when he took off, there was dust and muck flying. And um, I asked him why he rode him that way at the end. Well, if the horse wanted to go, let him go. So the horse takes on your characteristics. And Paul, being a race jockey, he took on those. And he was gone and back a half an hour before. He completed everything a half an hour before everyone else. So I sent him out the second time. That's Reggie for you. Ah, oh, Jesus, gorgeous out here. Christ almighty, it's a tonic. It's the tonic, Saoirse. Oh, my God. You're lucky to have this down here, Saoirse. How many miles are in at the bog, like? How many miles did you say? There's got to be, like, six or eight, I don't know. If you twist the roads, like... Yeah. So there's just, there's many different options down here, and if you, if you take, oh Jesus, Harry, what was that? Soft bit of ground. <laughs> the ground started crackling because it was a uh, bog road. Yeah, Jesus, what a beautiful place. <coughs> I know it's just a bog and all, but Christ, in a morning like this, look at that. Every time you come down here, there's a different look to it. Come on, turn up there, Harry. Come on. Come on. It's all right. It's on the ice. Come on. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. Not bad. It's okay. It's okay. Go on. Go on. It's okay. It's okay. Good man. You're all right. You're okay. Good boy. Yeah. Go on. It's all right. The lumps of ice now because they're crackling under his feet. He doesn't like that. <clears throat> Just gonna have to get over it. Not that I'd be writing him on icy days, but go on, Harry. Like, this isn't a super hard frost, but there's some ice in the ground. Go on. Good boy. It's okay. He doesn't like the the ice crackling under him. He doesn't like it at all. Oh well. Reggie doesn't mind. <laughs> Never. <coughs> Is he loose enough to wear a little canter down along here? What do you think? Uh, we'll do a bit and see what you think. I'll wait till I get down past the logs there. Morning, Betty. Right to heaven, love. Yeah, that's true. 
but it's, in great, it's great. I'll just give you a canter down here, Betty. Hope you like it. Go on, big man. Go on. <coughs> Go on. Good lad. Go on. Lovely smooth canter on Harry. He's just such a solid horse. Good lad. Go on. <coughs> Go on. Go on. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I saw two. You're good. Go on. Boy. Go on. That's a boy. Yeah, good fella, Harry. Go on, go on, go on, go on, good boy. Go on, go on, boy. You're okay. You're okay. Good fella. Good boy. That'll do for now. That'll do for now. <clears throat> oh, it takes your breath away the cold. Do I hear someone saying there's going to be rain today? Do I hear someone say there's going to be rain today? Oh, it's chilly down here, boy. You're okay. You're okay. Go on. It's all right, Harry. It's okay. It's not like the crackle of the ground with the ice. It's all right. Good boy, Harry. Good boy, Harry. Good boy, Harry. Well done, big boy. You're a good lad. You couldn't get a better horse than this fella. These two now are really good together and they're good in their own too, but it's just great to have a nice horse that's steady. Doesn't do anything too crazy. That's the turf there, guys. He was on the fires in Ireland. I'll get to the end of this road and I'll shut you off and uh, <clears throat> Wish you all a great weekend and get shopping. Nearly, Santa's nearly here. Oh, he's absolutely happy. No bothering Harry. The ground though is, uh, ba uh, is disturbing him a little bit. The crunching of the ground is uh, annoying him a bit. Like, to see how cagey he's about it. Yeah, he's like, yeah, will I fall through or something? And they're smart two horses. Uh, geez, it's hard to get better. I really like this fella. I really, really like him. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I'll switch it off with the bend here, will I? <clears throat> okay, guys, have a great weekend. Take care.